friends. I hope you've all been doing well and staying safe and warm. This past week, Alex and I traveled to Montana to visit his family, arriving just before a massive winter storm swept through the mountains, bringing several inches of snow. As soon as I woke up to snow falling outside my window, I couldn't wait to go outside. Although it's already snowed in Montana several times this winter, this was the first snow of the season for us and it was so magical to experience it in such a beautiful place. Winter in the mountains is absolutely breathtaking. Snow falls quietly over the landscape, blanketing the tall evergreens, and the crisp air carries a whisper of frost, pine, and fireplace smoke. Montana's nature has always felt like a sanctuary to me. It is one of the quietest places I have ever been, and the gentle solitude of the mountains brings me so much peace. Although I'm originally from the East Coast of the US, my family moved to Montana when I was 10 years old and we lived out here for a few years before moving back East when I was 16. It was during this time that I met Alex along with several lifelong friends. While today I feel most at home on the East Coast, I am so grateful that Alex's family lives here. They are all so kind and they always make me feel welcome, so it feels like I have a second home out here in the mountains. I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back, spending part of my childhood and teen years in Montana shaped who I am today in so many ways. It gave me a greater appreciation and respect for nature and the people and wildlife who live in this part of the world. Unlike the relatively mild seasons of the mid-Atlantic where I was born, Montana winters are challenging and harsh, with heavy snowfall and below freezing temperatures. Yet I'm always fascinated by how the people who live here take the extreme weather in their stride, still going to work in school and making the best of their time spent indoors despite the severe conditions. When I lived here as a young teen, I'd complain about the weather all season long, but now looking back, I realized the winter taught me a powerful lesson in resilience. I found that those who experience the harshest conditions and darkest days are often the best at creating warmth and light. Up here in the mountains, you never have to travel too far to find a family playing card games by a roaring fire, a group of friends laughing around a cozy dinner table, or someone humming a happy tune as they work. It's a lesson that stayed with me still to this day, and my time here has inspired me to think about the ways I can bring a little more light into my own life and share that positive energy with those around me.
today I wanted to share some of the simple ways I've been finding moments of light and coziness on these cold winter days in the mountains. On our first day here, I found an amazing apothecary shop in town with a wonderful selection of herbal tea blends. I was so excited to pick out a tea blend and it was difficult to choose just one, but I decided on this lovely floral blend with blue lotus, rose, and lavender. The herbal tea was delicious and so comforting to drink while warming up by the fire. Alex and I love making breakfast together whenever we have the time and pancakes seemed like the perfect treat for this cozy snow day. We found some locally made huckleberry syrup at the store when we first arrived and we were so excited to try it with our pancakes. Huckleberries are dark purple wild berries that grow in the mountains here in Montana and they are absolutely delicious. I would describe their taste as a mix between blueberries and raspberries and I love trying as many huckleberry products as I can whenever I visit. I've been reading Willow and Sage magazine, which shares amazing recipes and tutorials for homemade beauty and body care products. I've already found several recipes that I can't wait to try once I'm back home.
We don't have a real fireplace in our own home, so I've been savoring every moment I can in front of the warm, crackling fire. Lately, I've been enjoying yoga and gentle stretching in the morning. I notice I carry extra tension in my body from the cold during the winter, and doing this routine a few times a week has helped me feel so much better. Connecting to my body and breath has been so helpful for my mental well-being this month and it's been keeping me feeling centered and grounded during a time of year when I tend to struggle more with my mental health. These simple moments have brought so much light and magic to my winter days, and if you'd like to share in the comments, I would love to hear about the activities that have been bringing you comfort lately too. Thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you next time, friends.